Hi there, I'm Justin Pritchard and we've all had just about enough crap this last year or so, so hopefully you won't be spending any time this winter getting stuck in the snow. But just in case you do, let's go over a few things that you can try to get yourself unstuck before you go looking for a shovel or calling a tow truck. For these tips, we're assuming that you're stuck in the snow and ice on relatively flat ground and that your vehicle isn't hung up, that is that all of its wheels are planted firmly on the ground. Now, if you've completely mucked things up and found yourself in the ditch, buried up to the hood in powder, or sitting in a vehicle that has less than four of its wheels on the road, these tips won't work for you, but they often do if you're stuck, but with a little hope remaining. Start by straightening out the steering wheel. That makes it easier for your vehicle to move. Depending on what you drive and how badly stuck you are, making sure that the wheels are pointing straight down the road can be sufficient to regain enough traction to see the vehicle off. Don't underestimate the difference this vital step can make. In some situations, you might need to steer to one side or the other as you free your car. If that's the case, just keep the steering input as slight as possible. Don't steer any more than you need. Use your all-wheel drive lock mode. Many modern crossovers and SUVs with all-wheel drive have a lock or off-road mode that the driver can switch on with a button press. Now's the time to give it a try. Activating these modes tells your vehicle that traction is limited and that you need more grip. Certain driveline parameters are modified in response with the goal of boosting traction. In some situations, using this mode in conjunction with the previous tips can help significantly to free a stuck vehicle. stay on the throttle, and while you shouldn't smash the throttle pedal to kingdom come when you're stuck in the snow, keeping some steady pressure on it can be helpful, especially in vehicles equipped with all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive. Wheel spin when you're stuck is a funny thing. Too much spinning of the wheels and you can dig the vehicle in deeper, worsening your problem. Not enough wheel spin and you don't really give the electronic systems a chance to help solve your traction problem. If you're stuck in an all-wheel drive car or crossover, allowing some wheel spin for a moment or two at a relatively low speed can be beneficial. Let the wheels spin slowly and give the electronics a chance to do their job. In effect, let the machine do the work for a moment while being conscious not to dig yourself in any deeper. If you don't feel any progress after a few attempts, try something else. Traction Control when your vehicle's wheels start to spin too quickly on snow or ice, the traction control responds by cutting engine power and applying targeted braking to reduce the speed of the spinning wheels. This helps drivers control their car. In the previous tip, we looked at how a moderate amount of wheel spin can be helpful if you're stuck. However, in some situations, the traction control system might make that impossible. It automatically switches on at engine startup, and if you're stuck, you might need to turn it off. If it feels like there's nothing happening when you press the throttle, or if you have difficulty getting the wheels to spin a little, it's probably the traction control system doing its job. Switch it off and you let the wheels spin more freely. Check your owner's manual if you're not sure how. Hopefully one of those tips helps get you moving again. If not, next steps may include adding sand or salt to the ground ahead of the tires and repeating the previous tips or shoveling out the vehicle underside in the area around the wheels. Keeping a shovel and some sand in your car is ideal for maximum wintertime peace of mind. Ditto a fully charged phone, just in case you need to call for a rescue.